Is it worth to get the Bitcoin farm and the solar power for your hideout in Escape from Tarkov? I want to share my unpopular opinion. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back. Glad to have you here. And this whole economy, Bitcoin farm, solar power topic in Escape from Tarkov is really intense. And today I want to share my unpopular opinion about the Bitcoin farm and solar power in Escape from Tarkov for your hideout. I made some calculations, which you will see later on. But first of all, let's jump into my hideout. Out. As you can see, oh, don't forget, grab a beer or two or anything else to drink and let's start. As you can see, my Bitcoin farm is still on level one and I don't have solar power and I'm not interested to build it and to get it. And the reason for that is quite simple because as you can see right now, I do have enough money for everything. And that's my biggest and strongest point for my arguments. Don't rush for the Bitcoin farm if you don't have the money early on. Early on during a wipe, graphics cards are very, very cheap, 200, 300K, and you can spend your money into GPUs if you want, and you can make this investment to get your Bitcoin farm for a very low price compared to the prices right now. And don't get me wrong, guys, I don't have a problem if every single one of you is insanely rich in Escape from Tarkov. That's why I'm doing videos for you that you can play what you want in Escape from Tarkov. And that's why I'm doing this video right, right now. So what I did in Escape from Tarkov, I invested my money into something else, into gear, into ammunition and all of that stuff, because you need the money early on. Right now, I don't care about 120 million, 80 million or whatsoever. You don't need the money right now. You need the money early on during Escape from Tarkov in a wipe to buy, as I said, better weapons and gear or some quest items. Right now, it doesn't matter if you have 20, 200 or 100 million. So that's why, in my opinion, to get the Bitcoin farm quite late, it doesn't care. But that's just my opinion and I made some calculations for that argument or for my argument. So what I did is to sell every graphics card for a certain price. I sold them for a million, 1.5 and right now 1.7 or 1.8 million. And that's quite a lot of money. On top of that, selling PC parts is very good in Escape from Tarkov right now. And of course I saved the investment because I don't have the solar power or Bitcoin level two or three. And of course I can sell every parts for this certain Bitcoin farm. But I would say, let's jump into my calculation. I made a very simple list for the Bitcoin farm level one, two and three and every requirements for every single level from the Bitcoin farm. Let's start with level one. As you can see, you need one drill, 10 power cords, 10 power supplies, 15 CPU fans and intelligence level two. And I took the average price for every single item. So as you can see, your overall costs for the Bitcoin farm level one is around 1.1 million. And of course you need the costs for the intelligence center level two, which is as far as I'm right, you need four intelligence overall. Early on they are quite cheap. Right now it's very expensive. So I took the raw costs for the Bitcoin farm level one. And let's say you want to put 10 GPUs into this Bitcoin farm level one right now with an average price of 1.75 million you need 17.5 million to get 10 GPUs into the Bitcoin farm. Old price with 1.5 million, you need 14 million. And right now you can see what I mean with the investment into GPUs early on. Let's continue with the Bitcoin farm level two. It's getting more interested because you need 15 CPU fans, 10 power supply units, 15 circuit boards, five relays, and the costs for the generator level three. So the raw costs, just the items are one point, roughly 1.6 million. And of course you need 15 more, 15 extra GPUs, which are right now 26.2 million ruble. Old price with 1.5 are 22 million. As you can see, the gap between the old GPU price and the current price is getting bigger. So let's continue with the Bitcoin farm level three. So you need 25 GPU fans, which are right now very expensive, as I said. These prices are just average prices. You can sell or buy GPU fans for 60K or even more. It really depends on the market right now. Then you need 15 silicone tubes, 10 electric motors, the cost for level one solar power and the cost for level three water collector. And to get solar power, you need four AESAs, 10 military cables, 10 military power filters and 75,000 euros, which are 
11.2 million rubles. And Battlestate Games increased the amount of euros you need to get solar power from 50 to 75,000 euro. The old price was 50,000 euros as I said, which is equivalent of 7.5 million rubles. So overall your costs for solar power right now are around 20 million old price. 16.4 million ruble. So right now you have the costs from the Bitcoin farm level 1, 2 and 3 and solar power. You need intelligence and you need a water collector level 3. But let's say with the solar power and Bitcoin farm level 1, 2, 3 right now you have costs from around 25 million rubles. So just for your empty Bitcoin farm 1, 2, 3 and your solar power, no GPUs included, you need 33 bitcoins to make profit but of course you need some gpus let's say you want to have the bitcoin farm level 3 with 50 gpus so 50 gpus right now is an equivalent of 87.5 million rubles with the average price from a gpu right now let's say with an older price 1.5 million it's still 75 million rubles and let's say you bought the gpu for 1 million it's still 50 million ruble just in gpus in your Bitcoin farm. And don't forget you have to add the costs from your solar power or Bitcoin farm level 3. So in my opinion the Bitcoin farm level 3 is not worth if you want to rush it. And as I said the average price for one Bitcoin is right now 770k. That means you need 146 Bitcoins to make some profit out of this whole situation. Let's say you have your 50 GPUs in your Bitcoin farm. You need 49 days to make or start making some profit out of your Bitcoin farm. As you can see right now in my calculation you can make 3 Bitcoins a day with your level 3 Bitcoin farm and that means you need 49 days to start making profit. 49 days you have to log in every day to collect your Bitcoins and you have to sell them of course for the right amount of ruble. And right now you can see how big the gap is between the player base who had a lot of time early on Maybe they spend it less than 1 million. Of course they can make some profit out of the Bitcoin farm quite earlier in terms of the value of the GPUs and all of that stuff. But don't forget guys we had some times in Escape from Tarkov during the early and mid wipe where you have to spend over 100k for one power supply unit. And as you can see you need 10 for level 1, 10 for level 2 and that's a lot of money just for the power supply. In my opinion it's not that bad if you can earn some money out of the Bitcoin farm. But it's not that it's so easy to get incredible rich just with the Bitcoin farm level 3. As you can see right now it takes a lot of money to get it. And in my opinion it's way better to sell the GPU or to stash your fountain rate GPUs in your lucky scaf box and sell the GPU for a very good price and the parts for your Bitcoin farm level 3 of course the AESA and all of that stuff. You can make some very decent profit out of this whole situation because everyone wants to rush for the Bitcoin farm level 3. In my opinion it's the wrong way because if you have good gear early on you can dominate your raid. So what is in my opinion the right way to handle the Bitcoin farm? Go for the Bitcoin farm level 1 with 10 GPUs. You can stash your 10 fountain rate GPUs in your Bitcoin farm and maybe you die with a GPU in your secure container. You can use this non fountain rate GPU and you can trade it with a fountain rate GPU in your Bitcoin farm and sell the fountain rate GPU. And as you can see I am not a full time Escape from Tarkov content creator or streamer and all of that stuff and I still have some decent amount of money to spend it for everything I want. And don't forget we have the mechanic Bitcoin barter. In my opinion it's just a Bitcoin shortage like the fuel shortage from Jaeger a couple of weeks ago. I think they are going to change it back to our let's say normal situation. I think the barter is good with the green battery but as I said I think they are going to change the amount of Bitcoins which are available for every one of us. Don't forget guys we are test subjects in Escape from Tarkov right now. Battlestate Games should have the opportunity and shouldn't be afraid to make some changes because I think Battlestate Games should do more and more and even some crucial changes to Escape from Tarkov. On top of that, don't forget your support is awesome. Show the world we Germans cannot win least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video.